Now then, Doctor Who is struggling with viewership. Oh, shock, horror. How on earth did that happen? Maybe you don't come out and tell the fans to go f Hey, how about that? Anyway, we've stumbled across the TARDIS because the BBC and the production crew have left the TARDIS here, there and anywhere. They couldn't give a flying about it. And so we're going to dive into the TARDIS and we're going to explore the mystery of the ratings and what the hell happened. Anyway, I'm going to put myself in the corner and I will see you in a second, folks. Nailed it. Could it be mixed reactions to the fans? The fans are divided. Well, no, the fans aren't divided. You've got a small pocket of the fan base that is actually behind you. But the majority have up sticks and fucked off. Um, and for that person who went over my video, thank you. <laughs> that was absolute awesome legend. Well, you're a bit of a <laughs> but legend anyway. Um, and let's have an adult conversation well it's fun not to i guess anyway i'm not gonna call out that person who um i'm not gonna call them out because we're better than that folks and yes someone did go over one of my videos and tried to trash me and shat all over me and it was hilarious i fucking loved it absolutely hilarious but I, I did like, so this, sorry, this is going to be a bit of a tangent. We will get back to the topic of who. But I did like in their um, little description, don't send this person any hate. Hello, do you, have you ever been on the internet, you fucking retard? Absolute fucking retard. Let's have an adult conversation. Oh, it's fun not to. Well done. Well done. And like I said, I'm not going to show you this person's page or, or whatever. I couldn't give a fuck. I could not give a fuck about them. Just tell us already. This side, the side we're on, we're better than that, folks. Because eventually people will go to that page and send a mate. Well, no, no one will actually go to their page and send a mate, but they will make that hate up because that's what their side does, folks. That's what their side does. But when they say, oh, don't go to this person's page and send them hate. Well, welcome to the fucking internet, you retard. Um, anyway. Let's get back to Doctor Who and let's shit all over it. This is a shit show of ideological gender politics, you fucking idiot. Doctor Who's ratings continues to plummet. Oh my God, it's plummeting. Latest episodes post worst overnight numbers in franchise history, baby. Oh, franchise history. Well done. Well done. Disney. Why? What? what I do? What I do? Because this is no longer a BBC program. This is Disney. And if you want to say, well, it's still BBC. Well, okay. But the audience, the Hooveners, are trying to attract, attract is the far left progressive, gender, ideological, political driven person who doesn't actually buy fucking shit. Um, and that's the, uh, their target audience. The BBC has shut on all of the existing fans and if you disagree with me you disagree with me that's fair enough I, I i couldn't i couldn't care less you have your opinion i will have mine because they've shat on the existing fan base they have shat on the existing fan base and yes they're only doing it because doctor who well they're not only doing it because of doctor who it doctor who already has an existing fan base smart tv my fucking ass fucking hell in further proving that the show's turn to fan antagonization and progressive social messaging, because that's all this is now, this is all the BBC and Doctor Who, is progressive social messaging pushing the latest social justice trends onto the average person, onto the average person that the BBC hopes just sits down and downloads it like a typical NPC. But no. The great British public are waking up and the public on the whole are waking up and they are not, they are, they are no longer downloading that file. They are no longer downloading the latest social justice trends. Oh my days. Everything what the governments and the BBC, the mainstream media have done over the last few years People are waking up and smelling that fucking coffee. But anyway, let's continue. So social mes social messaging serves no purpose 
but to inflate the egos of its production crew and overnight, well, production crew and the big wigs at the BBC and Disney, and obviously the actors, of course. Um, overnight viewing numbers for the third episode of Doctor Who's latest series have not only been confirmed to be the worst of the 15th Doctor's runs thus far, but of the entire franchise overall. You get one of them, you fucking retards. I'm yet to watch this episode. I will watch it. Um, I fucking hate fucking torturing myself. I fucking hate it. Normally, I would fuck this off and not watch it, but I'm going to watch it for you guys um, if you're interested. I'm, I'm still going to watch it if you're not interested. <laughs> um, but, you know, I hope, I hope you're interested, folks. If you want to see my... Because... Um, the Devil's Card was just fucking the worst. That was a crime against music. That was an absolute crime against music and TV. Space Babies was just fucking stupid. Per a report assembled by the UK television viewing data aggregate Bab Mouthful and later relayed to the public by, by local news outlet Radio Times. Well, it's not so local, is it? Uh, the episode in question, Boom, managed to pull in just 2.04 million viewing uh, viewers during its May 18th broadcast premiere on the BBC One. And as we can see there, Russell Dickhead Davis, I, I mean, uh, Russell T. Davis, um, Space Babies, debuted at 2.6 million overnight, and then for The Devil's Chord, fall into 2.2 million. You lost 400,000 people in an hour or two. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Boom's abysmal overnight numbers also confirms its spot as the series' worst performing episode overnight, beating out the previous low of 2.2 million posted by the now former record holder, the aforementioned Devil's Chord, and the... 2022 Easter special, The Legend of the Sea Devils. Holy shit. Well, the BBC, what do you think they're going to blame this time? Do you think they're going to blame it all on the misogyny? Do you think they're going to blame it on the um, anti-LGBTQ messaging? Do you think they're going to blame it on... No, no, they're going to blame it on racism, folks. They're going to blame it on racism. Doctor Who actor Shuri Gatwa blames racism for viewers abandoning the show. It's just really sad for them. It's really, really sad that they have to uh, abandon this show because of racisms. Well, rather than concentrating on the social justice messaging and the, the social justice trends, how about making telling a decent fucking story? And for all those people who enjoy the social justice trends, think of to a time when you didn't enjoy Doctor Who. And why? I imagine you didn't enjoy the show for its sci-fi adventures. Now, this is a sci-fi show. Well, it's more of a fantasy now, says Russell Dickhead Davis. But it is a sci-fi show at its heart. And yes, it's always been progressive. And it's always been progressive in a fucking good way. But now this is just over the top, pushing, forcing its progressive messaging down your our throat and as a license fee payee i can complain about this shit but let's not have an adult conversation about it folks <laughs> anyway we've got to the express british tabloids i can't fucking stand the fuckers uh, bbc doctor who fans label new series woke and unwatchable as viewers ratings drop yes it drops it's woke and not the Oxford Dictionary um, definition of woke, because that's not the definition anymore. Because you know what it means. I know what it means. Everyone knows what it means now. Um, but, you know, go woke, go broke. <laughs> oh, we're scissoring. But anyway, folks, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. If you disagree with me, and you want to have an adult discussion, but <laughs> if you're going to be a little bitch... Um, be a little bitch. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was hilarious, you fucking idiot. Um, but anyway, 
If you like this video, smash that like button. And if you didn't like the video, I thank you anyway for watching. And I do hope I can change your mind in the future. And I hope the darkness binds us together forever. And if you really upset you on this one, sweet baby Inca calling. Go and have an adult conversation with sweet baby Inca because I couldn't give a flying fuck. I've been your host, Rare One, and I will catch you in my next video. Peace.